So now step number two takes us to motor running overload protection, thermal protector or heater. And it takes us to 430.32 minimum size. And then 430.32C for maximum size. And then it says use the motor name plate only for heaters if given. Light color highlight, go ahead and highlight that. Use the motor name plate. Only time we're going to use the motor name plate is for the heaters or the overload protection. The reality of what we're going to do with this code is we're going to build a circuit that's going to handle the horsepower of a motor. What motor is installed today will be changed later. And the new motor, the same backbone circuit will facilitate the new motor, the replacement motor. But the overloads may have to be changed out for the newer motor, right? Be adjusted to the new motor. So let's look, let's go turn to 430.32. And we're actually going to go to page 316, which is a continuation of 430.32. On the top left-hand corner of this page 316, you see this little breakout where you see... Uh, some numbers up there, 125, 125, 115, and you got some words that, to the left of that, right? What we want to do with that, we're going to make this uh, a table. It's not a table. We're going to make it a table. It's just a listing. So what we're going to do is take uh, our dark color highlighter, and we're going to make a big box around that thing, that little breakout, and we've got three different selections there. So we're going to take our pen and make those three different selections a line. There's a line left to right. We're going to make a row. For what does the first 125% represent? Well, the words to the left. What's the second 125% represent? The words to the left. What's the 115% equal? The words to the left. So break it out. Make a table out of it. And we're going we're gonna to title this table. I want you to title that table with your pen and write minimum. Now what this table that we just made is going to do for us, in reference to in ref the actual nameplate information that, that might be given on your test question, We've got three different things we're going to be looking for. The first thing we're looking for is the service factor. If the service factor is 1.15 or greater, we can use 125%. Now what this is telling us is that our overload rating, or overload device, is going to be allowed to be 125% of the rating of the actual motor. If our motor is 10 amps on the nameplate and we have a service factor 1.15 or greater, we're going to take that 10 amps, we're going to multiply it by 125% and come up with 12.5, right? That means our overloads can be set at 12.5 amps if that nameplate tells us that we got a service factor 1.15 or greater. The next breakout we have says motors marked with a temperature rise of 40 degrees C or less. If we've got a nameplate information that tells us we've got 40 degrees C or less on, on the temperature, then we're going to be able to take that, my example, that 10 amp motor multiply it by 125% and set our heaters or overloads at 12.5, 125% of 10 amps. Get it? If we don't have any of those information, we don't have the information about a service factor, we don't have the information about a temperature rise, then it's got to be the category of all other motors, right? Now we're at that 10 amp motor being set at 115% more, so it's 11.5 instead of 12.5. That means that when that circuit sees more than 11.5 amps, it's going to trip. So what we've done, we've taken what you would think about a breaker or a circuit breaker, you know, it's got the trip element in the, in the breaker, and we've relocated that downstream and it's going to have it acting specifically to the motor. Now that's if we've got the minimum. Let's go down to the right hand column, same page, you're going to see another breakout, the right hand column, not, not directly below it, the right hand column toward the bottom, you're going to see another breakout, it's got the same information. Now I want you to do the same thing here, I want you to box that one in, bottom, right hand corner, it's got the same information but it's got different numbers, we've got 140, 140, 130. I want you to uh, name that table maximum. Then we've got a little bit of room down at the bottom and I want you to write the words, the, these words I'm getting ready to tell you. We could read the text and, and come up with the same analogy but let's just write this down. Wait till I, I'm going to tell you and then I'll repeat it, okay? Fails to start slash carry load. Write it down to the bottom. Fails to start slash carry load. And then make a pointer back up to that maximum. Now, if you read all the information that's in those, the, the wording there, it tells you you cannot go to that maximum setting unless the minimum setting has failed. And the way it fails, it fails to start or carry the load. 
There's many different things in the National Record Code that, that has that same deal, where you got to fail at this before you can go to the next level. You got to do the minimum, and if that doesn't work, specifically based on these criteria, then you're allowed to do something different. And you can't jump to this maximum until you've failed on the minimum, okay? And it'll tell you that in the test question. Hey, that failed to start or, or couldn't carry the load, what can we do? Same nameplate, nameplate information, basically we got a 15% increase, right? Went from 125 to 140. Went from 115 to 130, right? <coughs> Same information. Talking about a temperature rating or a service factor. And that will be information provided on the test question. At the very top of the page, you might want to write step number two.